Hello and welcome to this video on career options after 12th. This video is specifically meant for students who have or who would be finishing their 12th in subjects like maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So let's look at all the options that are available to these kinds of students. While a lot of you may feel that engineering or medical are the only options available for a student who is a science pass out, I would want to show a simple chart which provides all the number of options that are available for these kind of students. Let's see the chart. So for the students who have opted for maths as a subject, engineering is one of the most prominent options. Within engineering also, you can opt for general engineering which is engineering in electrical, electronics, computer science or you can go for petroleum or aeronautical or metallurgy in engineering which is not so common but are still available. You may have to take a degree of BE or BTech or you can further go for a MS or MTech and then get an entry into a corporate via the same. But that is just one stream. You can also go for allied subjects like options of BSc in mathematics or in statistics or in physics or in chemistry depending on your liking can be gone ahead with. And that is followed by a PhD or a MBA depending upon what is your liking. While that is only for maths, a PCMB which is Physics, Chemistry, Maths and Biology student can always go for Design, Agriculture, Dairy, Pharma, Biotechnology or Genetics. On the contrary, students who have opted only for Bio, yes they can also always go for a MBBS or a MD or a MS which is a core medical but again there are allied subjects which is dentistry, ayurved, homeo, physio, nursing, pharmacy, BSc in, in, in one of the bio groups are all the other options that are available to a bio student. Let's look at all these options via step by step charts for the students who have opted within the science for either PCM, PCMB or a PCB. Let us look at the options available to a PCM student which is the student who has opted for physics, chemistry and maths and who will be passing his 12th with these subjects. So these students which are 12 science students have one of the most prominent options obviously is BTEC which is from IITs for which he has to take the entrance exams or he can do just a BE which is a 4 years program once again from one of the engineering colleges. Apart from these two prominently known options, there are multiple other options also like he can opt for bachelor's in computer studies which is a BCA and or after that he can go for an MBA or master's in, in computer management or master's in computer science. On the contrary, he can go for a hotel management also after his 12th. A lot of students also opt for NDA which is National Defense Academy. Students opt for bachelor's in architecture which is a 5 years course. Students who are interested in fashion technology go for uh, NIFT also. There are a lot of students who go for bachelors in planning and design which is again a 5 years integrated course and there are also people who are for FTII and further go for editing or cinematography or so many other things which are unrelated directly to the learnings that they have had in physics, chemistry and maths. Second kind of students who have science background but they have opted for physics, chemistry and biology as a subject have these all options as you can see on the screen. So the most prominent of all is obviously the MBBS which is a four and a half years course wherein he becomes a doctor. After that he can do his master's degree that is doctors of medicine which is again a three years followed by the MBBS of four and a half years or he can do a master's of surgery which is MS or he can do a specific diploma. That is one and the only choice but there are multiple others like he can go for bachelors of dental surgery, he can go for bachelors in veterinary sciences or paramedical courses. BSc in home science is also one of the options that lot of these students can choose. Diploma in nursing or BSc in botany or zoology or microbiology or chemistry depending on the choice of the individual can be chosen upon. And lot of students after this BSc also go for a MSc or MPhil and further they get into a PhD and finally become professors or teachers in the reputed institutes. There are students who opt for bachelors in Ayurvedic medicine and surgery depending upon their choice and further a two year course to become a doctor of medicine is followed by the Ayurvedic medicine and surgery course. There are students who opt for bachelors in homeopathy medical and surgery also which is again a four and a half years course or a BSc in nursing is also one of the options available for the students of PCB. Third option is the students who belong to science backgrounds 
but they have PCMB which is physics chemistry and maths with biology also as the option. So these are the options available for these kind of students. So they can obviously do a BSc in dairy technology which is one of the very upcoming courses a four year one followed by a MBA. They can also opt for a B Pharma which is a three years course followed by a MBA in, in pharmacy or a M Pharma. They generally opt also for BSc in agriculture which is again a relevant course followed by a MSc in agriculture or a MBA. A B.Tech in agriculture is also one of the options which is equivalent to an engineering course but yes the more core subject here is the agriculture part or a student can opt for a B.Sc in biotechnology. So these are all the different options available for PCMB student. So I am sure that would clear a lot of myth about engineering and medical as the only two options available for a PCM or a PCMB student because there are multiple other options available as I have already shown. But still if a student wants to do an engineering then what are the different options available to him? Let's look at that. So on your screen you can see the multiple engineering exams that are being conducted in the country at different points of time. The first and the most important obviously is the IITJE which is the Indian Institute of Technology joint entrance exams which has happened in April and May in two phases which is mains and advanced. There are other exams which are specific to the institutes that they conduct like BITSAT, UPSEE, WBJEE, VIT which is Vellore, SET, Symbiosis, NPAT for NMIMS and CUSAT are all different exams for engineering. For medical, for the students who have opted for PCB, these are the options in medical specific exams like AIPMT, MHCET which is specific to Maharashtra, COMEDK is another exam, KCET of Karnataka, TSEAM, CET and NWET are the different medical exams that are being conducted for entrance into the medical schools for getting a doctorate degree. So those are all different options available to a student who has taken physics, chemistry, maths or biology as their subject in their class 12.